Good afternoon, my name is Tara Reinke. Welcome to today's session on seven tips for women to get to the top in technology by Perrine Bark. First, some announcements. Each track has a raffle prize each day. Check the pinned note in the chat window to enter. Before we get to our talk, I'd like to take a moment to thank our fabulous sponsors, including MongoDB, Microsoft, Verizon, Salesforce, Amazon Information Security, Intel, and Remediant. We really appreciate their support. Be sure to stop by the Expo Hall and say hi to them. Now I'm thrilled to introduce Perrine. She's an award-winning diversity consultant in tech who is nominated in the top 50 most influential women in UK, UK tech. Perrine drove the strategy at tech companies including Facebook, PagerDuty, Pivotal, Enlight Software, and others for over a decade. Preen has spoken at many industry events to educate people about the lack of diversity in tech, and she's on a mission to create more diverse and inclusive workspaces in technology. Due to the time zone difference, Preen couldn't make it at this scheduled time, so the session is pre-recorded, and there's no Q&A here. But Preen would love to chat on Twitter or LinkedIn, and I will share her contact info in the chat window. Because the talk is recorded, when it starts playing, you'll need to hard refresh your browser, or leave the stage and come back to it and click play to start the talk. If it appears frozen, just click play. With that, I will turn things over to our stage manager to start the pre-recorded talk. Hello, and thank you for joining me today. I'm very excited to share with you my seven tips for women to get to the top in technology. And I'd like to thank the organizers, the Diana Initiative for inviting me today. So a, a few words about my journey as a female leader in tech um, and just to let you know why you should listen to me today. Um, I have led the marketing strategy at half a dozen software companies and technology vendors for the last 10 years. Um, as a female leader in technology, um, I have learned how to become part of the leadership team in a very male dominated industry. I can teach you how to fast track your career as a woman in technology, um, as I've worked um, at some very large tech companies, including Facebook, and even at some unicorn startups that went public during my time at the company. And I'm talking from personal work experience rather than uh, theoretical research. And just a few words about uh, my company, Inspired Human. So we are a London-based diversity agency in tech. We help tech companies hit their diversity goals through sharing our personal experience in tech. So why does it matter to have female leaders in tech? Um, as we can see from the recent press coverage, um, sexism is still very present in technology and the gender gap is still prominent and even increasing since the beginning of COVID and the pandemic. Uh, in fact, more women have been pushed out of the workforce um, in every industry, including in technology, since the beginning of the pandemic. As research shows as well, diverse teams um, present many benefits to tech companies. You know, diverse teams create more innovative solutions. They are more adept at solving difficult problems. They achieve better financial results and they create technology that are made for diverse users. So especially in the technology industry, having um, women leaders in, in tech companies can really help um, you know, boost uh, the, the financial success of the company and create better technology. So the first tip I'd like to share with you to boost your career as a woman in technology is to uh, find allies and nurture the relationship. So um, allies can be um, sponsors, champions, amplifiers, advocates or confidence. Really allies are here to uh, speak up about you um, in a positive way, even when you're not in the room. So um, they, um, you know, if you share your career goals with allies and mentors and sponsors, um, and you, if you ask for stretch assignments and learning opportunities, and if you ask for recommendations during performance reviews, allies will help you boost your career. So this is a picture here uh, of uh, my VP of sales at one of my previous tech companies. And he was he, my sponsor since day one. And he would say things like, oh, Perrine made a really valid point in that meeting. He would nominate me for promotions. He would 
put my name f uh, forward for uh, attending the company sales achievers club so he would be my biggest champion inside the organization even when i was not in the room so make sure you identify a strong ally with an authentic authentic relationship and you nurture that relationship the second tip i'd like to share with you is to share your goals so be very vocal, speak up, share your goals, and ask for promotions. Don't wait for permissions to share your goals. Be proactive, take the lead, and own your career. So at the beginning of my career, um, I remember that I never shared my goals because I thought it would be seen as too ambitious, too aggressive almost. And I found that women at work are either liked and um, not respected and not promoted, or not liked and respected and promoted. Uh, which is unfortunate, but but I found it very true. And this is backed up by research. Uh, research finds a strong correlation between um, we, uh, men's like um, likability and uh, success at work, whereas for women there is a strong correlation between uh, likability and um, not being promoted, and vice versa. If they get promoted and respected, they are not liked. So. Um, you know, I started being more vocal about my career goals, even if that meant being less liked. And I started seeing some results and being promoted more. So the main takeaway is to be vocal about your goals and share your goals. The third tip I'd like to share with you to boost your career is to ask for glamour work. So, you know, by asking, so what is glamour work? Glamour work is any high profile type of work, you know, when it's sponsored by a senior executive or you're joining a task force to identify a new revenue stream or giving a keynote, for example. Um, research shows that women often end up doing office housework while men get all the glamour work. So, and glamour, works, glamour work really opens doors. So when I started asking for glamour work um, to you know, my, my sponsor, that's when I started getting more offers, such as speaking engagement on behalf of my company, for example, or joining a company task force to identify new revenue streams. So this is very important that you uh, push back on office housework and you ask and you demand glamour work in your organization. Um, asking for wholehearted recommenda recommendations is a very important way to boost your career in tech. Um, recommendations can impact your career trajectory dramatically and asking for recommendations that show complete confidence will really help you boost your career in, in tech. So researchers found that recommendations letters about women that included more doubt, include um, induced phrases and that even had, you know, even one doubt uh, induced phrase could um, hinder your chance of getting the job. So when you ask for uh, recommendations, make sure that they focus on positive accomplishments and also they are wholehearted, they are completely enthusiastic. If you receive a recommendation that's sort of half enthusiastic, um, I would really recommend that you push back and you ask for a wholehearted recommendation. Um, building your inclusive network is another sure way to boost your career in tech. Um, most people have largely homogene homogeneous work network. 75% of white people have entirely white social networks. Uh, homogeneous networks form because of the way we network. We produce networks that are just like us, um, otherwise known as convenience networks. We share the same hobbies and interests and backgrounds. Um, so by building a diverse network, uh, even though that you know, can be difficult, it will open, open up doors and opportunities, you know? So by, um, you know, meeting people who are not like you, you know, by meeting people with a different gender, with a different race, different uh, sexual orientation, diff different background will open up, um, you know, your mind, your perspectives, but also open doors and will expand opportunities um, for, your, for your career as well. Um, the, another tip I'd like to share to boost your career in technology is to say no to meeting housework. So meeting housework, um, you know, meetings generate office housework, taking notes, scheduling follow-up meetings, you know, clearing coffee cups, etc. Women tend to absorb these tasks either because they are asked to or because they simply get the job done. 
Now, you can avoid this pattern by um, asking that um, your company or your team create office housework rotating responsibilities for your regular meetings. So by setting up a schedule for taking notes, for clearing the table and so forth, you're gonna ensure that uh, the meeting housework doesn't fall just on your shoulders. Um, on the topic of meetings, um, you know, be mindful of meetings misdirected questions. So misdirected questions are questions being asked um, to the man in the room rather than the expert woman. In a 2017 Elephant in the Valley survey, more than 200 women working in tech positions were polled. Of women with at least 10 years experience in tech, 84% said they had seen a question directed to a male colleague when they themselves were the most qualified person in the meeting to answer it. And it's not just men who are guilty of this because society tends to believe that men hold more power. So what you can do is redirect the question to um, yourself uh, when you're the most qualified person in the room. And be mindful of things like bro appropriation. So bro appropriation is um, the pattern when um, after women made a point in the meeting and it was not really noticed, uh, men make the same point and it's being noticed more. Um, so it's essentially appropriation of someone else's um, point or idea. So something you can do about, about that is using the amplification method. So during the um, president, president Obama's uh, cabinet, the women in his team came up with the idea of amplifying. So whenever a woman would make a point during a meeting, the other women would repeat the same point to make sure it was amplified. So that's a simple technique you can use to support each other, uh, other women in your team and really prevent bro appropriation from happening. And finally, um, off topic questions are also related to meetings. Um, and so that's any question that's meant to test you and test your authority. So whenever, for example, a man asks you an off topic question in a meeting to test your authority, redirect the question to the agenda of the meeting to make sure uh, you don't get um, tested. And the seventh tip I'd like to share with you to boost your career in tech as a woman is to demand effective feedback. So, you know, if you wonder why don't we have more women in leadership in tech? Well, research, researchers at Stanford University pointed out to one main reason, the vague feedback that women tend to receive over their careers. So by analyzing performance reviews from three large tech companies, the research uncovered some big differences in the feedback given to men versus women. Women were less likely than men to receive specific feedback tied to outcomes. This was both true for praise and for constructive feedback. By contrast, men were offered a clearer picture of what they were doing well, how their performance was impacting the business and what they needed to do to get promoted. The study also found other gender differences in performance reviews, specifically in language. When women were praised, they were twice as likely to receive feedback on team contribution versus individual accomplishments, which could hold them back during performance reviews. Women were also described as supportive, collaborative, helpful, twice as often as men, and they received 76% of the reference of being too aggressive. Men's reviews included words like drive, transform, innovate, tackle, twice as often as women. So let's face it, the language used to describe men represent highly valued traits in many industries. The language used to describe women is subjective and difficult to interpret. So another research shows that suggestions for improvement for women focused on personality, emotions, and tone. Those given to men were more concrete, direct, and actionable. And these dynamics can disadvantage women at promotion times. Without specific documented accomplishment, it is hard to promote someone. And I'd like to share one final research um, on that topic. In 2016, McKinsey found that women are less likely than men to receive difficult feedback because people say they don't want to upset someone, especially for male managers giving feedback to female employees. So one thing you can do is ask your employer to provide training on how to give feedback and also um, make sure to demand feedback that's tied to business outcome specific, focusing on um, objective um, 
measurement and not on emotions or uh, and is not vague. So we covered a lot of ground today, but in summary, what you can do to boost your career as a woman in tech is be proactive, be intentional about your network and your mentors and your sponsors. Be vocal, speak up, even at the risk of not being liked, because this is um, the only way by sharing your goals that you will start seeing results. Share your ambitions, push back on any unenthusiastic recommendations, push back on meeting housework, demand concrete, concrete actionable feedback. So I'd love to, sh um, to share your um, to hear your tips and your top, um, you know, advice for women to get to the top in tech. So, um, you know, if you could share on, on LinkedIn or on Twitter or Facebook, uh, what's your top tip for women to get to the top in technology? I would really like to hear that. <laughs>